I've shared with many over the years to start their own businesses. And I'm so blessed. I have my God-given family. I have my church family, and I have my Tupperware family. It's just been great. A final Lake County woman holds the distinction no one else in the country can claim. And folks, it's not even close. She is the longest tenured Tupperware salesperson in the nation, 63 years oh, and counting. Man. Tonight in Small Towns, Jeff Alexander takes us to Wapon to meet this amazing woman. Georgine Mulder has always maintained a simple philosophy when it comes to earning a living. Yeah. I've always said work is the yeast that raises the dough. You get out of this what you put into it. Born and raised near Wapan, Georgine and her husband Junior worked on a dairy farm while starting a family. And she still remembers the night back in 1960 that changed the course of her life. I had four small children and I hosted a Tupperware party in my home. And I was very impressed with the Tupperware consultant and with the product. It was something brand new in our area. So at the close of the party, we were sitting at the table and I said to her, do you think I could do something like this? She looked around and she said, it looks to me like you have your plate full. Let's just say that consultant's response didn't sit well with Georgine. So I was a little irritated that she didn't think I could do this. So as persistent as I am, I wrote to the Tupperware address on the back of the catalog she left with me. They sent someone out to talk with me and the rest is history. Georgine's first order of business. It's the very first catalog. These were the little dishes I showed you. Learning all about Tupperware. Earl Tupper in 1946 looked at the lid of a paint can and he said if it can keep paint fresh I can invert it and keep food fresh and that's where our design seal came from from the lid of a paint can. As a young consultant though Georgine admits she was a little shy. You fake it till you make it. You overcome that real quickly. Within the next three years, we had two more children. Now that six reasons getting out of the house one night a week was good for me, and most moms will understand that. Georgine also embraced Tupperware's business strategy. Go to a Tupperware party and see whole bunches of convenient ways to store and serve food. When we went to a party, we were trained, you're not through till you date two. So if I hold a party at your house with all the guests there, I will make it my goal to date two more new people at that party and I keep doubling my business. Within five years, Georgine emerged as a Tupperware star, promoted to a manager and then director. At one time, she had 28 people on her team, one of the top 10 teams in the nation, earning her all kinds of awards and prizes. You get this 500 foot roll of dollar bills, it was $1,000 stapled end to end. Georgine also earned the privilege to drive 24 company cars over 48 years. They did tires, the insurance, all I did was the gas and oil. Yes, it was a real bonus. In 2006, Georgine's Tupperware days nearly came to an end. She had a heart attack. They did CPR on me six times, lost me every time. So they called the family in to say their goodbyes. And because of many prayers on the good Lord, I'm here yet today. I rallied, I came through after 32 hours on life support and picked up where I left off and I still love what I'm doing. Today at 87, Georgine's Tupperware tenure is unmatched. I know there's been many in their 40 and 50 years of service, some even 55, but uh, no one has surpassed 63 and a half like I have. And with many more years in sight, Georgine still hosts a party once a week and manages a team, although her younger consultants sometimes take a different approach. With the social media we have today, some of the girls on my team don't even go out of the house to hold a party. They can sit in their jammies in front of the computer and hold a Facebook party. I bet you never imagined that that Never, ever. That was beyond. And it's okay. It's not my way of doing it. I still want the one-on-one. -on -one. It's old school, I guess, and that's the way I prefer to do it. That's because Georgine says it allows her to do what she's always done, sell from the heart.
I still enjoy it so much. I love sharing with people. We have so much info to share on our products at the parties, how they can save time and money, space and waste, how they can stretch their food dollar. And yeah, we have just come so far from Tupperware, that black pan goes in the oven up to 420 degrees. Yeah, that's our lasagna pan. I bake cakes in there, I make meatloaf in there. There's a pressure cooker, it goes in your microwave. Chuck roast, baby carrots, red potatoes, you get a meal in 30 minutes. And saving that time remains a priority for Georgine, because if you think it's just Tupperware that keeps her busy, think again. I volunteer a lot in the neighborhood two, three days a week. I'm out volunteering, senior center, thrift store, nursing home, very active in church. I'm a member of American Legion Auxiliary. My children say, Mom, you're never home. When you're living alone, what should you be home for? You spend some time with Georgine and you realize not only does she love selling Tupperware, but she's filled with gratitude and so inspirational. One of those people you'll always remember. In Wapan with photojournalist Michael Bergman, I'm Jeff Alexander for Small Towns. We all had it. So many products I see there, that red and blue shape yep. sorter yep. for my kids. Yep. Remember it well. So uh, great stuff. Great Very job. Cool. Keep it up, kiddo. <laughs> <laughs> Next week in small towns, we'll meet a man from Chilton who has made hundreds of beautiful clocks and simply gives them away. Mm. And check out